I would say to, to Manitobans and, and people who are um, thinking about traveling to Manitoba is to, to be cautious with your plans. With our COVID-19 count continuing to climb and most of these cases linked to travel, a warning Monday from our province's top doctor, we could see the return of mandatory self-isolations for all visitors. We're going to do what we need to to protect the health of Manitobans, and so that may result in re-implementation of that, uh, uh, those restrictions. The discussion around resuming self-isolations for those from the West comes as 16 new cases were announced Monday, the active count rising to 74. But it isn't all doom and gloom. Because even now when we have a, a test positivity rate that's relatively low, um, much of that test positivity rate is related to some clusters. Um, so even then, it's not representing a uh, community-based transmission uh, right now. Rusin pointing to a specific example of where we are seeing spread. A number of our recent cases are linked to such things as um, funerals. Uh, and we know that this is where this virus uh, can, can thrive in, in events like this. This is close. It's prolonged contact. With cases rising, so as the demand on testing in the province hopes we will soon reach the long-promised 3,000 tests per day capacity between the CADM and Dynacare labs. That's going to be some very robust uh, capacity for a jurisdiction our size to stay on top of things. And for parents wondering about school and their kids and their safety this fall, it sounds like we should get some clarity later this week. I believe that Brent Rusin and the Minister of Education will be back here to provide an update uh, of their thinking. So I'm going to ask you to hold tight for another few days, but I know that Manitobans are seeking those clarifications, and we will be providing those clarifications. In Winnipeg, Jonas Gilbart, City News.